it this time. Oh, 
track is. Can't even read this can't even read this anymore. Oh, my God. 
course, he had to stop behind the stop and say, hey, let's see what he's doing. See what he's doing. Very, 
very proud of David. 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 Still, still, still. still. Our our star, 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 star,
technical difficulties there. My phone storage built up. It should be automatically stopped. Stopped up there to a rush official. Christian.
Irwin had made contact. Irwin got sideways. That caused Irwin to come back. He tried to get into traffic, get it straightened out. He got sideways in front of the whole field, and he goes flipping wildly into turn number one. Lord, I pray he's okay. Heavy contact here on the front stretch. We'll make sure Russell's okay. All the pit crews need to stay off the track, please, while the safety crew does its job. All pit crew members off the track, please, while the safety crew does its job. Trevor Collins is out of his car. He's okay, but very disgusted. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. These cars got three wide and just got sideways. We have two laps to go in the race. Russell Irwin in the 22 is the car that flipped. The four of Jason Knowles essentially got involved a little bit here and came to a stop. Mike Franklin checking out car number 74. He's okay. It's going to take a while to clean this mess up, ladies and gentlemen. Praise God. Looks a little shaken up down there, and uh, he's going to take a limping walk to the ambulance. Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Russell Irwin in the 22. Got a lot of fluid spewing across the track here. It's going to take a huge break, and. Uh, coming in here. We got both tow trucks. We're going to take a while here to clean this mess up and uh, we'll get the last two laps of this race completed here in just a bit. Could have been a lot worse. I'm really glad he's okay. It looks like perhaps Mike Franklin has climbed back behind the wheel of the uh, Honey Express, the Gunter's Honey 74, to get. They think they could just get that car pushed off. And Russell Irving to ride in the back of the ambulance back to the pit area. Russell, or Michael Franklin is now pushed off. They'll pull him into the pit area. I'll tell you what, it was a stellar job for all the drivers that were behind Russell Irwin and everybody else to get through that accident. You look in the back stretch, Jeremy Wonderling, uh, Keith Walls, 
uh, Joe Martin, Cody Dawson, and Kyle Sopaz, as well as uh, the young lad that started tonight, Tristan Eater, all of them got through that accident scene unscathed. And now Jason Knowles is getting pushed off. I think Jason just basically came to a stop. He was trying to get out of the way of everything. I don't believe he made contact with anybody, but don't hold me to that. As the four car pulls away, it looks like it's not much damage, if any at all, on that machine. So Jason looks like he's okay. He's checking out the uh, car. He'll go up here in the back stretch. Looks like his front nose is bent down a little bit. One driver that deserves a round of applause would be Trevor Collins. Give that driver the 72 a round of applause, please. Trevor was leading the battle of the Bay Points coming into tonight. He struggled all night long with the 72 car. Just a bad break there for him being in the wrong spot at the wrong time during the accident. Back onto it, so wheels. It's going to take a minute to get the uh, fluids dried up.
I'm just glad he's okay. That was uh, definitely intense. One car needs a push on the front stretch. We have two more laps to go, ladies and gentlemen. Get back up here to the top row. now have a heat race a two-lap shootout and I have a feeling it's going to get aggressive rolled under. They got a black flag now.
It's almost as if I'm a prophet. I mean, is it worth it for one more lap? I don't, I mean, I just don't know. Oh, man. They got one lap in. I thought they did. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Well, that was that was also as gentle as it could be. Also. 
Glad he's walking away. Focused on the leaders, on the, leaders. the two lap shootout, and all of a sudden I heard a, a rev limiter to my left, and I'm like, and I'm like there's, a car, there's a car upside down in the middle of the air. And it just landed right on this top, right on this top. And they were taking so bad, so bad. Yeah, yeah. That car up on the foot, up on the foot. I'm glad Kyle so fast is okay. Is okay. Is okay. Well, folks, again, we did not get a lap complete. There's still a two lap shootout to go. And there's not very many cars left on the track. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars out of a 24 car starting field remain. So I'm going to try to get back in position up here for the remainder of this to that shootout. <laughs> I feel like a journalist in a war zone. My battery's not going to take much more. I mean, I, I've got probably over an hour of footage for just a single file restart. 
That puts Kyle Hardy in third place at his home track. Charles Sandercock has been leading this entire race. He has an extremely strong car. Shocks by JDS, HN Funkhauser, True Form Race Parts, McFarland Custom Painting, Anthony's Pizza, GT Archery, A1 Duck Cleaning, My Pro Brakes and Sports Cars, Fate for Glory Barbershop, Mills Auto Care, DK Speed Cuts, Quality Title LLC, Value Repair LLC, Cape Bridge Family Dentistry, Fuel Electric, Sugar Creek Snowy and Sweet, Wayne Jones, All About Wraps, Avery McMillan Racing, Dustin, Order it, Dustin.com, the Beverly team, real estate, and our new partner, Retail VR LLC, who is helping us with the in-car camera footage. So we will be able to see firsthand what Damon saw when he came around that corner and there was a car sitting still in the middle of the track. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But thanks very much, everyone. Uh, we wanna just praise God for the uh, safety of these drivers and the safety of the cars and the design that they're built and um I'm just glad that david is going home all right folks we're down here in everything's in one piece for, for the most part the drivers and to come uh, we'll come back strong at our next event here at winchester speedway thanks again for joining us for the battle of the bay here the rush dirt late models crate series event the Battle of the Bay at Winchester Speedway. Signing off. We'll see you soon.